Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name's Josh, also known as Dad. You can call me Dad if you want. So thank you for you guys are here on today, the Friday of my return from the worst trip of all time. If you haven't seen my story, please go watch yesterday's story. Never has a sequence of events unlike that ever happened to me in my life, and I just had to document it, and I'm glad I did. So thanks for watching that. It is Friday, and so you know what that means. If you are a high-level member of my Patreon or my YouTube channel, you get to be put on the wheel once a week. And at the end of the month, that Friday at the end of the month, it's every member and every Patreon. So if you're anything but the first tier, you're out. If you're in the first tier, sorry. But you can at the end of the month. So if you want to join my Patreon or my YouTube channel, please head over there and join those. You get to be on the wheel. You also get early videos, early releases, all that kind of cool stuff. Today we're doing a video on Dr. D doesn't go shopping again. Like, what is going on, lady? Some things are going down. But before we do that, the kids love this song. So if you got some kids, bring them in for the dance and let's win a prize. Woo! All right. Christine Brager, you win a prize. Make sure you reach out, Josh, at thedadchallengepodcast.com for your prize today. Otherwise, let's get going. So you don't know who the Doctor D. Dozen is. Good. Stay in that lovely land of ignorance and bliss. That's awesome. But for us who are aware of who the Doctor D. Dozen is, or Doug Hurdy Dozen, as I like to call them, it is a family vlogger of people, well, basically surrounded by Alusha, Alicia, whoever you want to call her. She is literally a functioning alcoholic who adopts children who come from FASD and other things, tells the entire world their histories, monetizes it, makes huge bucks on shopping sprees because she monetizes everything. She puts it as content and writes it off, which is what I'm going to start doing. Not going to lie. All I have to do is put a camera on while I shop and I can write it off as a business expense. I checked. It's true as long as it's content making you money. <laughs> so that's cool. I'm not sure you can write the whole thing off, but you can write some to some degree. Some of it off. Recently, a couple updates. Uh, she broke her clock or something. Cause she's lying about what she's doing. Whatever. She makes really gross food, like gross, and spends so much money. It's actually insane. Like people, even her own fans, are like I don't know how you like. Are we supposed to? Is this like you're supposed to be influencing us to do these things? Because nobody's gonna do it. Also, she's got really weird thumbs, and it just stop with the thumbs. All these family, like, you know, I got to give her props though. She hasn't gotten the fillers, the fake boobs, the fake skin, the, you know, hasn't done anything to herself. She just, oh, natural. But if you're going to do something, Alicia, thumb surgery, just saying, I don't know if it exists. Just saying. Anyway, people love when we, we snark on, uh, Alusha, especially her shopping sprees where she spends way too much money and doesn't have a plan. And again, these people aren't going to be able to sustain this life because family vlogging is on its way out. They, they're not at their peak yet. They're going to hit their peak pretty soon, but they're not going to be successful past this. And they're banking on it. Like they are going to be successful like this for the rest of their lives. They have never seen the kind of money that they're seeing right now. Never. And likely it's going to peak pretty soon and then it's going to drop off. So I'm hoping that they're saving some money for their kids. But based on these shopping sprees, I don't think they are. And how long is this one? 45 minutes. But you know how we do. We just scroll through. Because she doesn't edit anything. She's just, ugh. Also, people have been asking for a parody. And so you know I'm going to deliver. I'm working on a parody right now. So... If you have some ideas for me, I've got a whole list of things I'm already doing in the parody, but if you have some things I should know about what I should do in the parody, go ahead and send them to me. I'm happy to hear them. I'm probably already in my list, but you never know. Yeah, it's going to be funny. It's been a long time since I did a parody, so I think it's time that we do a parody. She she deserves it. She deserves it. So anyway, let's get to this video. They're shopping. So the video is called Back to School Shopping Spree for 12 Kids. And I asked this question last time. Why is she making bagged lunches for kids who aren't in school yet? The answer is they don't eat it. They throw it in the garbage. They didn't eat the pancakes. They didn't eat the bacon. They didn't eat the spaghetti by her own words because it was shit. Okay. They don't eat any of the shit. This is all for videos. 
She's literally wasting food for videos. Okay, okay, here we go. It's Alicia with the Doherty Dozen. Today we are back to school clothes shopping for our 12 kids and Josh, he's a teacher. <laughs> Let's go. That's apparently. Did Oma and Harley go inside? Why don't you just, can I offer a suggestion? Okay, you've got a great, you've got support with your parents or his parents. I don't know whose parents they are. You've got a husband who is there. Okay. You've even got older kids who have licenses, right? I think one of them at least and yourself. Why don't you just split it up? Take four kids a day on three days. You know why she doesn't? Because this is like her thing. Oh, the 12 kids are shopping. When you, like, in a real world, if you're not vlogging that shit, you wouldn't do it like that way. Okay. These four youngins are coming with me today. The four next youngins are coming with me. And then the four oldest the next day after that. That's all you do. Keep it simple, stupid. Get a freaking dead cat. If you don't know what a dead cat is, it is a piece that goes over your microphone and your camera so that when it's windy, it's like. This is a dead cat. They call it a dead cat because it looks like a dead cat. Just saying, that's what it is. Do you want to go? Kids are. Okay, look. Maybe it's just the poorness in me when I was growing up, but I never got cool shirts. But why spend 60 bucks on a t shirt? Just stop. Just stop. Grab Harley. Edit some shit, please. You don't edit. Is it time for a song? I think it's time for a song. Alusha, please edit your stupid vlogs. There's no need to be this lazy. And you don't even shoot in the proper format. No. You don't seem to care Your shit is terrible And you should feel bad Your videos are garbage What do you think of that? Edit your shit Make some cuts We don't need to see you walking from the parking lot Stop, you moron You're killing me by the way, when I do the songs, I don't even know what chord progression I'm going to play. Or words that just come out. That's just my natural ability. All right. Where you guys want to start? Of course, I started at McDonald's. <laughs> of all the food that she buys, why does she shop at McDonald's? I gotta fix this for you guys so you can see it properly. We are shopping. And she always does this too. She doesn't like, she just holds the camera up and she's like, We are shopping. All right, let's not make any edits or anything. Why is she popular? Let's go oldest to youngest. That's what you should have done when you went shopping. You should have just taken a bunch of kids on separate days. You idiot. Okay. Alright, Nevaeh, where do you wanna go? Okay. See, then this is the problem, right? Well, let's go from oldest to youngest. Now they all gotta go over for Nevaeh or whatever her name is to get all her stuff. While they're all getting bored and like beating each other up and breaking shit probably. This is why this is dumb. She just doesn't, it bugs me because it's not even smart. It's not even like a mom influencer is like, want to know how to shop with 12 kids? Well, here's the tips and tricks. Boom. It's not. It's just like, here's me spending 10 grand on shit. That's all it is. And it's not good. And her thumbs are weird. <laughs> what just happened? You can't even hear what they're saying. It's like, and she's like, ah! what? We don't know what she said, lady, because your because your camera's from the eighties. This is like women's fitness stuff. This is the stuff you like, Brie. You probably like this stuff too, Zoe. Mm -hmm. No, I want to go in a boys section to get Aaron stuff. Okay. I'm going to the boys. No, she just said let's all go where the Neve is going, and they're already like, I'm not. We're going over there. Yeah, this is irresponsible taking this many kids. Because first of all. Your kids are probably not well behaved, like everybody's kids when you go shopping, okay? Second of all, you're there doesn't seem like your maybe your husband's there and didn't see him, but if that's the case, if you got 12 kids running around, anything can happen is what I'm telling you. And you're pretty famous in your area. Someone could be following you just waiting for an opportunity to take one of those kids. I'm not even getting I know everybody's like, oh, rolling your eyes. It's gonna happen eventually, people. Okay, I'm just saying it's not safe for her to do what she's doing. 
It's not safe to lick mirrors either. Tell your children not to lick mirrors. Okay, cool. Jason, what you doing, honey? Oh my god, this is you. so bad already. I'm not even a minute in and I'm, I hate it. Okay, they have them in a small, honey. Two. Okay. I'm, I'm so pissed because she doesn't put any effort into this. It bothers me because she just turns the camera on and walks around. And there's, it's hundreds of thousands of views. And it's not jealousy, everybody, okay? Because I can make better content than her. No problem. It's the fact that you don't have to anymore and people just like watch it. Because what reason? Why do you watch this? Yeah, they have that in a small, because you want these. Okay. Oh, no, wait, that's an extra small. Yeah. Yeah. I'm already ready to fast forward. See, there was a cut there. There was a cut there. Oh. Hey, Quinny. Why are there some cuts somewhere and some cuts and then not where they need to be cuts? This is the. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what? You know, like the juice? Nobody can hear anything they're saying. This section. Me? No. I was no, about to say, yeah. I'm not a. Junior. Yeah, does that kid look like he's a junior? Dude, it's like six foot eight, three hundred pounds. Junior section? No. Big and large, or big and tall, or tall and big, or whatever that's the place called. We started with the veil. Alma. What are you doing? Oh, finally. He's on his way. He okay, so they're all like meeting up. To pick up James and... Patient. You're stupid. Okay, fine. You got three adults there? Separate. You got four kids each? Go shopping. I hope that's what they do. Why don't you just cut it? Let's go over here. There's no plan either, right? There's nothing. There's no plan. They're just walking around throwing shit in a cart. That's what they did for their uh, shoes, right? They got shoes and they're all wearing new shoes. $4,500 worth of shoes and water bottles she bought that day. Let's just make our way. Our I thought that was back to school. Around the store. Excuse you. Oh my God. You are so Take my on you. Keep going. That is cute. No, it's not. You don't need a watch for school. You don't need a Fitbit tracker for school. I'm surprised. Oh yeah, put it in the cart. <laughs> it's just so she does edit. There are cuts. So uh, <laughs> it just it makes me wonder that she leaves the most boring, ridiculous things in there. What is she cutting? Purses. Here's the tiny section. Oh, super cute. What do you think you're going to get, Harley? The kid wearing pit boss glasses or like $300 glasses. You need new clothes for school. Fast forwarding. Yeah. Nope. Can't do it, man. Can't listen to her talk like a child either. Bodie, let's look at clothes, honey. Okay. You wanted. Where are they? No, no, no. Mom. Mom. Who runs this store? Fold your shit, man. Get some people on the floor. The other Mario shirts I had is were too small. Can I have these? These kids all rocking Under Armour, Jordan. Alicia, save your money. I don't think you realize you're not going to last on here. Sorry, Charlie. Dad. So, Amy. Mom? Patrick, this is an XXL. Look. What is it? Yeah. No, I think it is. I like, hold it up and let's Patrick, see. I found an X. Mm -hmm. You're gonna, you gotta go into the men's section. You big boy now. I can't find any more. Hey, Bodie, did you want these jammies? Mom, I'm dying track. Yes! Headphones! Speak of Femi! Those are pretty neat. Why are in the toy section? It's back to school! Yeah, we can look in the Nike section. Yeah. Of course, yeah, Nikes. Sounds good. You're gonna, you're gonna grow out of it in two weeks. Let's get Nikes! Harley, can you not drag oh your clothes? Why don't you get a cart, lady? You have 12 kids there. You don't have a cart? The cart queen doesn't bring a cart into the store where you're buying hundreds of garments. You didn't bring a cart. Get wrecked. Yes. All right. Keep shopping. Yeah, are you? Is that what's going on here? Yeah, shopping. Okay. 
a four. No, you're not a four. You're not a four anymore. You're Where is the plan? Everybody. Five shirts, five pairs of pants, all new socks, all new underwear. Go. Meet you back here. I'll wait at the exits so no one can steal you. Go. Right? There's no plan here. It's just random. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Seven. Okay, then I'll pull. You need a seven. Six. You need a seven. Is that kid buying those weird headphones or what? Well, some sixes fit me. No, honey, you need a size 10. Mm, I'm honey, I'm going to say But first, white claw. Am I right? Am I right? She's not. There's, okay, who would go shopping sober with this many kids? So that's all I'm saying. I kind of understand. I don't know. I've never been drunk, but I can't understand. Does she sound like she's like not just like either taking mushrooms or something or some on kind of some like like relaxation medicine? Got up a size this summer. I am telling you, they all shot up a few inches. That's because you feed them nothing but junk. They're all not up. They probably shot out a few inches. I take them all for their annual physicals in the summer. I'm not even lying. Almost all of them grew three inches in the past year. Your kids grow? Oh my god. Your kids grew? Your kids. Kids grew in the summer? Oh my god, it's a miracle. Smash the like button. Vinny? Kids grew four inches. No, that won't fit you, honey. Honey, I'm telling you, the men's section. Something's getting a onesie. stuff like this. This yeah. still. The men's section does not have onesies from Minecraft. Stuff like this. Those are baby socks, honey. She's actually getting mad at them. Then help them shop! What are you doing? You're just holding a camera and saying, no, 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 that's wrong? So you go do it, man! Who does this? Who shops for the kids like this? You get the clothes for your kids. Small. Mm -mm. Okay. Alright, um. <laughs> Let's go to the restroom. Gotta take a dump. How's football? Good. Football, good. Yeah. All right, yeah. you. Okay. Um, we are finishing up with the boys, and then we'll head over to the men's section yeah, yeah. because. Right. Well, music, few squishers. The Barbie shirt and a blue shirt. Oh my god. Okay. So this is garbage. This video sucks. Okay. If you are able to find a size five, that would be awesome. I'm just pissed there's no cart. What do you. Uh, put it in the cart! You t you had a. Didn't they have a cart when they do shoe shopping? Yeah, they had a cart there. What's this, this place has carts. Get a cart! You're gonna buy stuff in the men's section? Yeah, I'm smoking. You guys are waiting. Oh my god. Fast forward. Expensive shit. All expensive shit. Go to the men's section. Cute fancy clothes. I'm home. There's no way that she is like this in real life. I guarantee it. There's just no way. You have 12 kids. There's no way! She's either, again, either on like Quaaludes or she's just drunk or she's just putting on a show for the camera. Okay. Because in the real world, all of us parents at a mall with this many kids, you don't think there's going to be some raising of voices to some degree? Come on. You kidding me? You kidding me? Not going to be at least a one count to three? Nothing like that? No tantrums? This color. It's color of my favorite white claw. Isn't that amazing? amazing? I think I might actually get one. Do you want this purple? Oh, that's for her. Oh, oh my god, it's a purple. Can't do it, man. There. They're at Kohl's. I think Kohl's is like a Sears. Right? I got that. Kohl's like a big place. It's like a, it's like an expensive Walmart. Like it's like our bay, the bay. You know what? We'll get one when we go up front. We'll get we'll get one. You don't need a dinosaur mask. We're here shopping for school. This is the kid that just tries to get. Oh, can I just buy random shit that I'm never gonna use? Yeah, sounds good. That is made for people. Not this. I'm just saying. What a waste. Those things are probably fifty dollars. Oh, All right. She, that's not for back to school again. She has no plan. This is what makes me so upset. 
<laughs> no plan. There's nothing. You all get this amount of stuff. This is what you need. Blah, blah, blah. It's just like random. Throw everything in the basket. Let's go. Content. Big. That's too big. What do you want to do? You're a big boy. No, that was too big, Alicia. Relax, dude. Put your glasses on. No. You want so big what is it? Oh. Okay. That's not back to school. Okay, that's good. These kids buy so much shit they're never going to use. They imagine the amount of... First of all, we know this family is a massive... Just a mass... They waste so much stuff. Like, just in food alone and plastic and everything else. They waste, they waste, they waste. They buy. They probably have so much shit they don't even know they have. They throw it out or it's just their hoarders. I don't know, man. I've This is, ab this is abundantly clear. This is beyond anything anybody else does. This is not normal. So Even rich people don't do this shit. I don't think. Also, I think she says that those two little boys there, the black boys, are triplets with the white boy. And she calls them the Oreo triplets. And I don't think that you can do that. I think that's just we're beyond that. I think in this world, I'm, like I'm not trying to cancel or like don't, not a huge deal. But I don't think you can do that. Just don't. It's not. I think it's not cool. Okay. Uh, it's it's cool. Cool. I think you're a trend center, James. Kids rocking an iPhone 13. Yeah. I'm coming, honey. You should have come here for sheets. How about sheets at Walmart this morning? I'm not even thinking that we were coming here. You know what? We should get some more pillows. The way that. No plan, eh? Just come back another day when the kids are in school and do all the things. She just, oh, I need to buy a new car. I'm on the way home and get a new car. We go through them. Grab a few of those, will you? Please. I need just like a couple. Where's your cart? Okay. Doesn't even, okay. don't even know how many pillows you need. Just grab them, grab them, ran. Just grab some shit. How many do you need? I don't know, whatever. So you don't need them. You just, you just like grab some shit. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. It's like, again, I. I know that there's a grandmother and a dad there, and like the kids are just roaming around. It's just gonna take someone two seconds to take one of these kids and split. Just saying. I like I have two kids sometimes I go shopping. Maybe three, maybe four, max, but I don't. Because I have older kids do it all separately. I wouldn't let any kid of my eye, two of them. She has twelve of them floating around there. I can't I can't do the voice. Corner for Alex and Deshaun. There's some right. Why doesn't everybody just grab their own cart then? There's, grab a cart, kids! Here's Jeep kid runs over mailboxes. <laughs> Say it. I wonder, I honestly wonder what it's like for these kids to go to high school and middle school. Maybe the younger ones don't because kids aren't really watching YouTube. But you know that their friends are watching YouTube. Their friends are likely watching these videos about them. I wonder what it's actually like at school for them. Now, because they have money now, and they maybe didn't before, money actually does help not all the time with popularity but it does especially if you're rolling up in a jeep and you got money and you can afford things and all the best clothes and stuff so maybe it helps but i wonder what it actually is like that their friends know like every intimate detail about their lives i really do it's, it'd be a very interesting topic i wish i hope they don't ever cover it but i sometimes wish they would sit down with these teenagers and have an honest conversation about what it's like at school being influencer kids i'd really like to hear that What'd you get? Stuff with dad? Is that the kid that got in trouble at the boardwalk or whatever they're called at the ocean view, whatever? Is he the one that got brought home by the cops because they were trying to fight and everything? Why would you fight that kid? He's like six foot eight. Who would fight that guy? Pick that up. Yeah, you like that. Oh no, Josh has Jay yeah, has the camera. Okay. What did you get? Did Alicia have to go take a piss because she had too many white claws? Okay, so I got a um Nike sweatshirt. 70 bucks. I know. Um, I got these X, um, these sweatpants. Those sweatpants, unless they're folded in the front, there's no way those fit that guy. Your shoes are long enough. I don't, those don't look long enough for you. Okay, you might want to try them on. Go try them on. Shorts. Okay. No, we said this last time too. They bought shorts last time. It is fall in northern, it's fall in northern New York. They live at the same temperature I live in. Okay, maybe, they might even be more north than I am. I'm not even kidding. So this is back to school, right? It's going to be cold as balls in less than a month. No shorts, dude. You don't need them. Pants only. Get an apple. Nice. 
Nice, there. that's only 600. Sounds good. What you Cute. It's winter. Get clothes for the climate that you live in. That is a summer outfit. Am I wrong? I'm probably wrong. I like that so much. What? Cut it! Just cut it! Cut it! You guys. Never get your name brand. It makes you happy. Get your name brand. Just saying. There's no plan. Just she's so bad. <laughs> Nike everything, eh? 60, 70 bucks, 30 bucks for a shirt. Nike, 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 Nike. No, it's fall. Alicia, get your kids to buy clothes for the fall and winter because those are the seasons we're about to encounter. She doesn't say anything. Nice. I like that sweatshirt too. It's the fall. Bunch of pants and... Bunch of pants. All jogging pants. <laughs> I, I don't blame you. Okay. That's really long. That's cool. You need a pillow for back to school? Got it. Why are there no comments on these videos? Be like, why is your shit so boring? What are you doing? There's no engagement. There's nothing here. She's not talking to the people. She just... I know. I'm done complaining about it. I know. kids. <laughs> I love this kid. He's like, I didn't get clothes. I got toys and pillows. Yay! <laughs> Okay. Again, that's why you should take them separately. This is so stupid. All right, did you find cologne? All you have to do is look. Cologne? Oh, it's back to school. Yes, yeah, so you gotta buy it in there. Oh, okay. Oh, we'll go do that then. What? Whatever happened to Axe? You don't need cologne. You're good. Oh, we wait for Dad to get his clothes. What cologne did he get? I want to know because I'm a cologne connoisseur. I love cologne. I love cologne. Yeah. You don't need cologne. Go to get the cheap stuff for the little kids. I get the older kids want a good smell and go get that. The little kids don't need cologne. That's go get the cheap stuff at like I, I don't know somewhere else. Oh what, is it? what is it? What is it? What is it? Like it? That looks like polo. That's a polo. I like the first one. Yeah. Show me which one. Who can I get them both? Just get both and then you can Yeah, see. so she did say that, okay. See what your Probably two hundred dollar bottles of cologne. Food is that day. Okay, we're okay. a lot. So Okay. Nothing like teaching your children that there's no value in money. Do whatever you want. Yeah, because what are the, like these kids aren't learning any value of anything, man. Holy. Yeah, you can get two clones. You're gonna be cutting the grass for the next six months. What do you think he's doing? Oh, did you find any? No. Okay. Do you have, like the vans for like lifting? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You need vans for lifting to help a ton of them. Oh god. No, you don't need vans for lifting. You don't need any of that shit. Didn't she buy her daughter a pair of volleyball, really expensive volleyball court shoes? And they she didn't even make the team. <laughs> like I'm not making fun of her not making the team. I'm just saying that sucks. But why would you like just waste? They're so wasteful, man. There are so many people with so many needs, and I'm not saying you have to help people, but maybe take your kids and go work at a soup kitchen or a food bank or go sh go go help the world. But don't film it, is what I'm saying. Just saying, they're just so wasteful and greedy. Black opium? Yes. Yeah. It's either that one or Yeah, I'm looking up how much black opium is. $175. You're in high school, man! I'm not a perfume person, so... I just put a little dab of white claw and I'm good to go. But first, white claw. Oh. I'm really not the person to ask. So then don't ask her then. Move on. <laughs> okay, you're stupid. You're supposed to sniff coffee in between so you can cleanse your palate and then move on. I'm sure they have little things of coffee. You ever seen little if you ever wondering why they have little be coffee beans at like cologne areas? Because you're supposed to sniff that and it resets your palate. I like them both. I think I like this one more. Yeah. The hundred and seventy five Just get them both, eh? But, yeah, it's funny about both. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, just get them both. It's like three hundred fifty dollars. She's about to buy six hundred dollars just of cologne. Oh my god, lady, teach your children. Just they're so entitled, man. What do you think they're gonna turn into when they're older? These kids are like this. Is like gonna be like Trump's kids. Okay, I bought my wife flower bomb. Flower bomb is amazing, and it is expensive. Okay, I'm telling you, it's expensive. 
But Flower Bomb is nice, not gonna lie. Flower Bomb, she got the big one, $205. She just spent $375 on perfume. Three on one girl, and the other guy probably bought about the same amount in men's cologne. Oh my god. Um, Don't let your kids touch things! What is that? Is that 400 and... Is that 400? I think it said $466 for the cologne. Like, can't you wait for a birthday or Christmas? Those are special gifts. What? Is, oh my god, what do these people do at Christmas? Alicia, A-L-I-C-I-A. Those are out, man. Those are so out. And they're not for lifting. That is not a shoe you wear for lifting. Sorry. Okay. My son, I've heard of those. I'm, I think I'm the only person on earth who thinks those are ugliest shoes you can buy. Why does the microphone only pick up the person behind the camera? It doesn't get anything ahead of the camera. It's always only like, and then the person's like, didn't she just get a pair of brand new shoes and then just before that got a brand new pair of shoes? I don't understand like this. Like fostering and adoption and everything else is a very, very, very you know, it's a very complicated situation. I understand that. But she's not teaching these kids anything about life skills or values of anything. That is gonna be really important. Really, really important for these kids to learn things that they need for life. Because she can't be buying them this shit for the rest of their life like that. Her it's not gonna work that way. It's not. What happens when they when they leave, they don't they just expect things. Kids in general, not just adopted and foster kids, but everybody. Man, if this is teaching you guys anything, if she's influencing you, it's influence yourself to like treat your kids with respect by teaching them the value of money and not just giving them everything without any thoughts. You didn't even, you got like basically a few pants and clothes and then toys, pillows, cologne, very rare, like none of this is back to school. And shorts. I gotta check. Where is, where are they from? There's a Today article. Mama 12 opens up. What? If you have a 12 foot ladder, it lets you go around paywalls. Mama 12 opens up about adopting kids with fetal alcohol spectrum. She says, there's an article? Alicia Doherty went viral on TikTok for posting a time lapse video of her next level meal prepping skills. Okay, she cuts her sandwiches this way. Sorry. All six of Doherty does in adopted children have fetal alcohol. All six of them have fetal alcohol spectrum disorder. I've never seen this article. A group of conditions that occur when alcohol passes from a mother to a baby through the umbilical cord. FASD can result in a mix of physical behavior and educational issues. And she drinks around these kids. You can't make this up, everybody. These kids tend to have very poor executive functioning skills. They have hours have explosive rage, anger issues, and trouble with transitioning. And so your answer to that is to just let them have whatever they want, not teach them any life skills? Awesome! Let's find out where this place is. Let's see where they are on the map. So they are, okay, so they're up in Rochester area. So they're not, they're just a hair, like they're, oh my gosh. <gasps> These people live, no word of a lie, three hours from me. <laughs> they live three hours from me. Okay, so I'm a little, I'm a touch more north than they are. Like just a hair. So they do have crazy winters and they're on Lake Ontario, which means that they have even crazier winters than most people. So get some pants. Where's the snowsuits and boots that you should be buying right now? No, we did not even. The toques. Get some toques. Don't sing. Just please spare us that one thing. We don't. Nobody wants to hear you be like. Sound like Shakira on meth. Relax. Oh, we found more cool shit. Oh yeah, let's get some more. Holy shit! Look at the. One. I would hate to be behind these people in line. I would be cursing the gods. Nope, I'll I'll come back another day. I'll just leave my shit there and walk out. And then I'll take a video of it and show the receipt and show everybody how stupid I am. Okay, holy shit. Look at this lady checking him out. Imagine all the security techs. <laughs> they just keep throwing shit on too. They just keep, oh, I got more stuff to get. I need water bottles. I need a bike. Mom, I need these underwear. Is this Diva Cup? What is this? I need it. Look at the pile. They, they've they been checked out for like an hour and there's still a pile. They keep putting shit on the pile. It's, and I haven't seen them yet, so... I'm sure it'll be fine. I don't know. You don't know how to dress either there, Alicia. Look at your earrings. 
S stop, Judger. It's pre-approved. Pre-approves of it, so it must be cute. Must be cute. Are her eyelash eyebrows real? Is that paint? Or is that, can that be natural? Is that a thing? I'm not judging, just asking. Oh, yeah. Stacy comes over. Okay, let's get this shit done. There's a lineup at the door. Who said you could come here? Well, it's almost like you need a book. If you're going to bring 12 kids to a store, you should call ahead. Hey, we're coming. You know, make sure you have staff because we're going to be there in the checkout line for two hours. Also, just don't do this. It's rude. When you can come through, like, what else do you have to do? Grab the kids in sequence and take three days and do it. You have three videos then. Where are your kids going to sit if you're taking up seats with bags? Get a trailer. Do yourselves a favor and get a trailer. You clearly need a trailer. This is all she should like. Socks and vans. Oh. Alicia, let me just give you some tips, okay? You could literally make the same amount on this video if it was 10 minutes long. It does not need to be 47 minutes long. A 10 minute video and a 47 minute video doesn't pay you that much more. Just wanted to let you know you could do that. Do a little bit in the thing and then do this at the end and then you got 10, 12 minutes. You're good to go. Golden. Okay, golden. But see, it's just where's, where's, oh, look at their house. Their house is just horrid. Their house is just full of like that stuff that back there. They didn't buy any stuff. They just have like literally baskets of new shit everywhere in their house. It's like they don't even open it. I swear to God, she just buys this stuff and maybe she like resells it, but she writes it off or she takes it back to the store. They just have piles of new shit all over their house. Rainy? I know it is raining. Well, what do you so what do you hard. think about? Um, where's the receipt, lady? What is, what kind of camera goes, clink, clink, clink. where did you get the sound effect? Oh Thank my God. Thank you for us back to school clothes shopping for our 12 kids. You are strong. You are beautiful. She said her clock broke, by the way, and that's like a cheap plastic clock. There's no way it broke. But you are loved, you belong, and I'm so proud Where's of you. Where's the receipt? See you next time. Hasn't a though, isn't that? No. So. $4,272. Not one month ago, she spent $4,500 on the same type of shit. She has literally spent close to $10,000 in two months on back to school stuff. $10,000. I don't care if you have 12 kids. That is ridiculous. And all written off. It's all written off. You dirty rat, Alicia. You're just, ugh. Anyway, she apparently got a Walmart shopping one. We're going to have to do that. We'll snark on that another day. This is just endless snark. I can't wait to see what she does at Christmas. It's going to be fun. Halloween. Let's, imagine how much candy she buys at Halloween. This is going to be amazing. Thanks, Alicia. You're amazing. You're not. You're just bad at this. These guys, think in the end. I know we're snarking. We're having fun. We're laughing. But actually, this isn't smart. This is really actually not cool. It would probably be really interesting to get a parenting guru on here who talks about fostering and adoption. Like, all of my circle of friends, except for a couple, have adopted or fostered. We all kind of see, we all kind of know, right? We're in this world. We know what it's like. Alicia is not helping these children. She is literally going to make their futures worse by just doing this stuff. She thinks she can buy it, but she, we just, I'm going to have to go through that, that interview pretty soon, but she just admitted these kids have like, they, they, they're, they have all of FASD and have massive behavioral issues. So just shopping and giving kids hits of dopamine isn't going to help. Why don't you take that $4,000 and put it towards specialists to help your children? Counseling, therapies, all that shit. They're going to need it all. And they need to be in it weekly. Every single one of those kids with FASD needs to be in weekly counseling. And if they're not, you're doing it wrong. And something tells me they're not. They're in sports or in everything else. They probably don't have time for counseling. But with the amount of money she makes, she should get hire a full-time in-house counselor to come to her house and, and meet with the kids all week long in their appointments. She easily could, but she won't because she thinks this is it. She's terrible. Don't follow her. Everybody take a deep ass breath. I hope you're amazing. I hope back to school is going well. But that's insanity, man. They're buying shit they don't need. Anyway, I'm sorry. I keep complaining. I know, but it is what it is. Hope you guys have an amazing and incredible day. And weekend because i'm taking a break you guys incredible don't forget how valuable you are and don't forget all right never ever fly flare airlines okay all right i'll see you monday